And we're back here with Brendan Kehoe, and you've logged on to Internet Brendan. Before we take a look, what's the big deal about Internet? Why is everybody making such a fuss about it? Why is it better than CompuServe or Prodigy, et cetera? Well, the chief benefit is that it's not owned by one company or even a conglomerate of companies like Prodigy or CompuServe. You're influenced by what those companies thought your users would want to do. Where on the Internet, anyone can put any service on and have it do anything they want with it at so any time. It's kind of user controlled. Right. It's, it's completely molded by the people who use yeah. it. All right. Let's take a look and show me some of the neat things you can do on the Internet. Okay. The first thing we'll be doing is looking for a job a friend of, for a friend of mine who just got her teacher's certificate and she's in the Northeast. So we'll be using a tool called Gopher which lets you burrow around the internet and pop up where the information you need happens to be. And we're going into the Online Career Center. And this will let you s search the job listings. It'll also you let you search resumes if you're looking for people to work for you. Uh -huh. And here we'll search for the word teacher. It'll go and perform the search. So you're looking for a teacher's job in the Northeast? Right. Okay. And this is running on the machine in Michigan. And here we've got a wow. small list of, of positions. And let's say she wants to be a substitute teacher at the Bayview Healthcare Center. We'll get the list of contact information, the phone number, the requirements, salary, that kind of thing. That's pretty neat in itself. What else? And the next thing we'll be looking at is one of the more silly parts of the <laughs> internet. It's called a, a Finger, which usually will let you go and check if people are logged into certain systems. But some people have set up the information that gets output by Finger to be whatever they want, like NFL scores or the bell bo billboard charts or that uh -huh. kind of thing. So here we're looking at the billboard charts for this week, and okay, top we'll R&B singles, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll see number five is Mariah Carey. Okay. So one thing we can do over the net is order that CD. With so our, you can't actually buy stuff on the internet. Right. It's it's a very sticky situation because one of the biggest problems is security and transfer of money and that yeah, kind of yeah. thing. But uh, many systems have actually set it up so that you can do things on the internet involving money transfer and credit cards and that sort of thing. All right. What else? So here's so going, into, CD the, right we're going into the compact disk connection. And as soon as it wakes up, one of, the, <laughs> one of the drawbacks of using the Internet is that since it's so autonomous, every system it can be up or down or be as slow as fast yeah, as you so want. So nobody's really controlling right, traffic and, in the middle. And the only guarantee is that your packets will get there. It's just a matter of when <laughs> they when? will get there. Okay. Well, can we skip past this right now and look sure, at something this else? this is taking a little long. So yeah. what we'll do is... So we'll skip we'll buying the CD at the moment. We'll get out of there. And now... Now we'll go in and we'll use a thing, again using Gopher, mm -hmm. to look up an article in the New Republic magazine. And we'll fix a typo, and there we go. And it will go into the electronic newsstand. Mm -hmm. And it, all of the articles in the current edition of many magazines are available through this, like the New Republic uh, Internet World, in fact, is actually one foreign affairs magazine. So now we'll go into the New Republic and we'll go into the current issue and see what their editorial is about. It just happens to be about NAFTA. Mm -hmm. So if you do a sit return on there, and there's you the editorial. You get a full text article. In full there. text for it. And what we can also do now, now that we've read that editorial, is we can go over to a, another system, in this case, in University of Northern Colorado, North Carolina, uh -huh. and we'll use anonymous FTP. And by typing anonymous at the, pa the name prompt, and then use our email address as the password. You don't need a real password for this. Mm -hmm. This will let anyone put files available on the internet. And so in this case, we're going to go into a public, a political science area. And if we do a directory, we'll see it has a whole bunch of stuff, the US budget. Wow. And now we'll, now we'll go into NAFTA. And we can see that we can get, actually get the full text of NAFTA including separated by the chapters yeah, and by the yeah. appendixes. Couple of quick questions. Uh, if I want to get onto internet, how do I do it? How do I get, get into internet? Uh, the best solution, since it all, it's very dependent upon where you live, uh -huh. is to call something called the Internet Helpline. And you call 1-800-444-4345. And then they'll help you find out who what's you should what's talk the best to, way to get in? in your local area. What on average is it going to cost to use internet? Between $10 and $20 a month. All right, for a